The ALV grid control provides typical list functions as sorting, filtering, summing, etc. and also gives the opportunity to develop user functions where needed. The ALV grid function modules allow you to display an internal data table as a report, with as little effort as possible. The result also provides you with a large amount of standard functionality such as sort, total, add slash remove columns, download etc. The implementation of these require little or no extra development time. Function modules for ALV grid are reuse underscore ALV underscore grid underscore display. While preparing a list to be displayed via an ALV grid control, we have some basic components to prepare. These are list data, field catalog, layout structure, event handler, additional data. List data, this is the data in an internal table to be listed. Standard ALV functions except sorting makes just read access to the list data. Field catalog, we use another internal table to define specifications on how the fields of our list will be displayed. This internal table is called the field catalog. The field catalog must comprise some technical and additional information about display options for each column to be displayed. There are three procedures to generate the field catalog as automatic generation, semi-automatic generation, and manual generation. The internal table for the field catalog must be referenced to the dictionary type LVC underscore T underscore FCAT. Layout structure, we fill a structure to specify general layout options for the grid. With this structure we can set general display options, grid customizing, totals options, color adjustments etc. The layout structure must be of type LVC underscore S underscore layout. Event handler, we should define and implement an event handler class if we want to handle events triggered by the ALV grid instance. Additional data, to trigger some additional features of ALV grid we can have some additional data to pass as parameters. Hi there. Let me show you how our training courses work in this short sample lesson. Just follow the on-screen instructions. Enter the transaction code Southeast38 in the command field and press enter. Enter the name of the program you want to create. Click on create button. Pop-up for naming program attributes will open. Enter the name of the title of program. Click on type arrow under attributes tab. Choose executable programs. Click on the arrow in the status field under the attributes tab. Choose the test program in the status under the attributes tab. Now, all your program attributes are set. Click on save button. Enter the name of package where you want to store the program. Click on save button. This is the local workbench request pop-up. Click on continue button. This is program editor screen. Now, create the program. Click on Pretty Printer to align the program in correct format. Click on Pattern to call the function module required. This is the pop-up to call function module. Enter the name of function module reuse underscore alv underscore grid underscore display which you want to call.
Click on Pretty Printer to align the program in correct format. Click on Compile to compile the program. Click on Compile to compile the program. Click on Pretty Printer to align the program in correct format. Click on Compile to compile the program. Click on Activate button to activate the program. All the inactive objects of the program are activated here. Click on Continue button. You have successfully created your program. Now click on Execute button. This is your output screen. End of slide, thank you.